Hello everyone, Julian Marchese here. Today is the 16th of August 2012. I haven't made a video in a while, so I thought I should give you guys a market update. What I think is going on in the markets today, where I'm biased and where I'm putting my money into. Alright, so let's start off in giving you guys basically what the, what's happened, what has been happening over the past couple of weeks. So as we all know, uh, Volatility has massively contracted uh, since this large uh, move higher we saw on that unemployment Friday just uh, two weeks ago. Uh, you could see in the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten trading, nine or ten trading days, we've had a 20 point range, which is very, very small. Uh, the average range we've seen over the past 10 days have been has been like five points, seven points around that area. So really small when you compare it to just the couple months prior where we were having 30 point days, uh, you know, very easily. So uh, definitely huge volatility contraction. And we can further express that by putting the VIX on this chart, which is the black line. You can see when the VIX spikes up, obviously we have a higher volatility. Uh, and you can see it reached a very low point just a couple days ago at 13.67, which is the lowest point we've seen in quite a while, actually. Uh, it looks to me like that close was the lowest point since 07. So that's just to show you how calm traders or market participants are right now. And, you know, understandably, being a macro guy, I am typically, typically, uh, a, uh, a contrarian. So when, when I saw this extreme dive in volatility and a sense of calm in the markets, especially given the slowdown we've seen in around the world economically, although we have seen some uh, improving numbers coming out of the U.S. Uh, for the past couple of weeks, which have helped, obviously. Um, but with, uh, you know, European fears still, you know, still on the table, they're not just going to disappear. Um, and the fear that uh, the president of the ECB, Draghi, won't be able to deliver what he promised with doing whatever it takes to save the euro, which was a comment he made a couple weeks ago, which sent us higher in the equity markets right over here. Um, you know, the better reward to us trade just seems to be to the short side. And that's what I uh, wrote a blog post of. I'll, I'll put the blog post in the description of this video. So, yeah, that's basically what, I, what I'm looking at right now, you know, as a macro guy. And with, you know, the current fears that we've been having and such contraction and volatility, uh, I have to be short this market. However, at the same time, this market doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, and it hasn't made much sense for the past three years. And the reason for this is this market, uh, especially U.S. equities, is uh, has seen a lot of intervention by uh, other parties that uh, are not just general market participants, i.e. being central banks, governments. Um, so the constant government and central bank support has been keeping equity markets afloat, whereas other markets such as uh, commodities have been underperforming. However, uh, oil has been coming back. Copper also underperforming. Copper has really been underperforming. The U.S. dollar, let's actually bring up the U.S. dollar instead. The U.S. dollar has been doing quite well. And uh, equities just went to highs right now. So, you know, that's the theme we have right now. Although there should be more fear in the market right now, um, definitely the VIX shouldn't have been at such a low level a couple of days ago. But with the 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 confidence that we are we are receiving from you know governments around the world and the central banks is just enough to cause people to move into equities. And it's not just the, the confidence, it's also people need to search for yield with interest rates at such a low level. 
really investors have no choice but to put their money into riskier assets if they want to see some sort of uh, yield and that's that's been shown by the performance of high yield bonds and then obviously equities now uh, pushing to uh, three year highs four year highs at this point so you know uh, I am currently short. I have put uh, stops in my short. You you can see these blue lines. Let me take off the Bix graph. You can see these blue lines. These are my stop levels in oil, also in the S and P. So you know, not very high up here. Um, also got a half risk off in euro in the euro. Um, so, you know, looking to take some exposure off of my shorts. Should uh, the stops all be hit, uh, that would bring my recent two-week drawdown to roughly 3%, which is not too bad considering uh, what a normal drawdown could be for me, which is around the 5 to 10% range. Um, that's, you know, to be expected. So 3% is not that bad. Um, I'm willing to take the loss. Uh, but... Uh, it mainly has to do with I I was definitely pretty leveraged because of the, the contraction of volatility. My idea is that, and it still believes until I get stopped out, I still believe this, that, um, you know, volatility will definitely return to the downside. That's just the nature of, of especially equity markets and other risk markets in general. So um, being short here with such, I don't need to have a very large stop because volatility to the upside, if markets continue to go up and touch our stops, it should be pretty subdued. However, if we break down, the move lower should be quite expansionary volatility wise, and we will see bigger returns on our uh, on our potential than we, we were risking. So very good reward to risk at this point. Um, I have not touched gold or silver in the past month or so. Uh, just very difficult gold right now. You know, very choppy. I'd I'd want to see some sort of breakout of at least this triangle that we have here. You know, just this is really signaling a lot of congestion, a lot of indecisiveness. So we need to see a move out here before I really want to do anything in there. And the bond move lower, I've missed it completely. Uh, I was not, I did not have a hedge on on my shorts, and if I were to have a hedge on it, I, <coughs> excuse me, I would have had it in bond market, as that's really the only market that I was not invested in, and I did believe that we were coming near a point for correction. I didn't think it was going to be this soon. I should have taken this major uh, one-day drop we had in uh, late July as the you know the heads up for potentially a continued move lower but unfortunately i did not take the hint and completely took out my bond positions so now i'm waiting for more information before i do anything in the bond market right now so that's where i stand right now guys um i am short no risk until i get stopped out very tight stops right now and, uh, you know, if it, uh, if we turn around and we see some sort of outside event that causes the markets to completely reverse, uh, that would be what I'm looking for right now. However, until then, I do have a favorable reward to risk trade on, which I'm happy about, whether it takes me out or not. I'd be more happy if it does go my way, however. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. If I do get stopped out, I will have very small exposure, short copper, uh, very small exposure, short uh, euros, and small short exposure in German equities. I'm not really going to do anything with the DAX yet. Um, we haven't seen any movements in it as well, but um, I'm okay with holding short these uh, these uh, markets, very, very small amounts. So uh, if we do see a reversal, I will be able to catch some. Uh, some of it at least uh, and yeah here goes equities my stop in the S&P is uh, at 13 half I should bring this down uh, so not very far away uh, today I might get on the equity shorts
I am also long puts on equities, which I'm just going to let expire worthless. And the only trade that I have on right now that isn't really affected by what's happening over the near term is uh, I do have a long straddle on in equity markets. I want to get long volatility at these very low VIX levels. I think it will pay off. So that's the trade right now, guys. Uh, once again, if I do get stopped out, I'm going to reevaluate, look to where the best opportunities are reward to risk wise and take advantage of them. All right. Thanks for watching this video.